as, as Daniel was placed in the lion's den, and again, the indication from Biblicist is that it was a, a ramp, and he was marched down, gates pulled back, he's thrown in, the, the strong gate, the high gate that separated the pit or the cave, pride of lions come out. Well, normally, what chance does one person have in a pride of lions? None. And the king knows this. The king can't even bear it. He goes back to his palace. Now, here's the interesting part. We all know this part of Daniel's story. So let's just do a little bit, again, a little synoptic, uh, tw tw just pull out of this what we can and, and do a quick wrap on it. Daniel's in the lion's den. The king's in the palace. The king doesn't sleep all night. He can't eat. He can't sleep. His, his maids and his servants and his attendants come down. Oh, king, what's wrong with you? He's pacing the floor. They give him his medication. He just up. The next morning, as you know, he comes down at daylight. He comes down. He comes down to the lion's pit. I, I, I love this. I have, I have a little bit of a weird sense of humor, so you just bear with me on this. But you know that in the Bible, and I'm not trying to change Scripture, please understand that, but I just love augmenting a little bit here and giving a visual. In the Bible, it says, obviously, the king comes down and he calls out. Now, just picture this. Daniel, I mean, Daniel should have been eaten alive in 10, in 10 seconds. He's gone. But the king is pacing all night. He comes down and he yells out, Oh, Daniel, are you still alive? Now, the Bible answers that. You know what the Bible says, Daniel says, Fear not, king. My God is taking care. Now, here's my take on it. I, I just kind of would love to believe that this could have happened as well. Daniel doesn't say a word. So the king goes walking down the ramp, and he gets right to the gate, and he looks in, and Daniel is sleeping on the shank of the lion. And there are lions licking his face, and he's petting him, going, Kitty, 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 kitty. I mean... Yeah, I know, it's a little weird, bizarre, but you, you, you take it from me. It's just a way that I see God saying, Aha, I got gotcha. you. Aha, I'm God, you're not. He's my protected. Wow. So out he comes. Out he comes. And all of those who plotted against him, hear this, church, hear this, America, Hear this, sin has consequences. The wages of sin is death. Sin will always find you out. At some point, sin will catch up to you. And those who had sinned and plotted and cheated and lied and tried to take Daniel out end up as food for the lions that morning. I'm saying this with all passion and, and concern in my heart. Don't mess with God. God's laws are perfect and pure. This book is holy. It is inerrant. It is infallible. It is God's Word. It is sealed, given by the Holy Spirit. Don't try to toy or mess with God or change God's plan and God's absolute truth. America, hear me. Let me take one, one step further. Just kind of do a wrap on this. This really is burning in my heart in a way I, there, I couldn't possibly convey to you. But with this whole, take this whole picture. We've been through a plot and a prayer and the protected in the, Dan, in the lion's den and the promotion because out, out of, after Daniel comes out of the lion's den, he gets, he gets a bigger promotion. He's over everything. And those who plotted against him, who were the other vice presidents, they're, they're meat. They're, they made a meal for the lions. There's one more thing that happens that, that, is, that is so important here, and that is the prototype or the parallelism of Daniel and Jesus. Let me draw you to that, draw your attention to that, and, and focus on that for just about two minutes. The prototype here is that Daniel is the forerunner. He's a prototype. He's a template of Jesus himself. We know that Jesus was tested. As soon as he was baptized, does the Bible not say that Satan came roaring to him, 
By the way, Satan is a roaring what? A roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. When Jesus was baptized, he went into the wilderness for 40 days. The Bible says he was tested and tempted by the devil. The devil is the roaring lion trying to take Jesus out. And in three years, in three, about three and a half years, Jesus is hanging on a cross. He wasn't delivered from his lion's den that day. The, the, king, of, the king of the lions, the, the king of the lions of Satan's kingdom thought they had won. They had conquered. They had overcome. No, they didn't. Because three days later, the, the cave in which Jesus was placed could not hold him. He came out victorious. Why? Because He is the King of kings and Lord of lords. He is the Lion of the tribe of Judah. And He declared, I hold the keys of sin, death, hell, and the grave. Satan, you're a liar. You're a loser. You're bound for hell. And I am redeeming my church. I am giving my life. I am rising again. I'm going back to my Father. I'm coming soon to take my church home because I am the King. I'm the tribe of Judah's lion, and I reign forever, and so does my church. Church, no matter what you're going through right now, no matter what we're facing in our country, we are not defeated. We are not going down. We are not under Satan's authority. We are under God's authority and the authority of this word, and it stands forever. Hallelujah. Look to the king today. The king who is the king of all kings. His name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Take heart and take hope in the midst of your lion's den and know that God will deliver you. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh, I pray, Holy Spirit, just cover this word. Cover this word today. Open our ears to hear it. Let anointing flow on all those who hear as you have anointed me to share it. May your glory and your honor and praise come forth from us in the midst of our own lion's dens of trouble or sorrow or hurt or pain. God, set us free that we may trust wholly in you because we are your children and you are our conqueror, King of kings and Lord of lords, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. See you next week.